Hey guys, today I'm doing my 2014 beauty favorites, so this is going to be everything that I totally fell in love with for the year of 2014. The first thing I would just start off with is primer and then try to, you know, like show the products in the order that I would put them on the face and then try to end with some finishing products, but I do have some random things and they're all just thrown into my favorites bin, so... I don't know. We'll just go with it. Um, <laughs> first thing that I am going to start off with, though, is a primer. And hands down, my favorite primer of 2014 was the Angel Veil vale Primer by NYX. I'm super picky with primers. It's really hard for me to find ones that I like. I really liked Angel Veil vale because it kind of sinks into the skin and almost molds with it. It's not too silicone-y. It's not too tacky. It's just perfect. I think that it makes makeup lay on the skin prettier and it makes makeup last longer. I reached for it a lot. I used it a lot. I really like it. I like the effect that it gives and it's not too expensive. So a really good one. I had two foundation favorites of the year and the first one is the L'Oreal True Match. This just has like a really good shade range. They have neutral undertone foundations, cool and then warm. I obviously go for the warm ones. I find that this stuff is really liquidy but it blends into the skin beautifully. You can really build up the coverage. You can do something light coverage. You can do full coverage medium. You can really get any coverage that you want in between. It lasts long. I don't notice it breaking down on the face. It's a really beautiful foundation. I really like this one. And then my other favorite was a new favorite, but I totally fell in love with it. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. This is a liquid foundation. It's kind of that liquid to liquid. It's kind of that liquid to powder finish. I really like this because of how strong the yellow undertone there is in this. And it's just a really, really beautiful foundation. I do find that this one doesn't last quite as long though. So this isn't as long wearing. So if you really like long wearing foundations, this one might not be the one for you, but if it's just like for the daytime, then very, very pretty. I had two powder favorites. The first one is the Bare Minerals Original. Uh, this is in the shade W15. I've been wearing Bare Minerals since I was 16. I just can't get away from it. It's so pretty. It has just the right amount of like shimmers in it to give your skin that natural luminosity. It's beautiful on top of foundation and it's also beautiful on its own. Like just for an everyday look, I just do concealer and the bare minerals and I'm good to go. I love it. I just, I can't get away from this. This is what I always, always reach for. And then my other favorite is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This one that I have right here is in medium dark, so it's a little bit too dark for me. Well, I actually do have a tan right now, so I can wear it now, but when I'm at my fairest, I can't wear this, but I can wear it as a bronzer. So I can't use this to set or anything, but I can wear it as a bronzer. It's sheer, again, has a little bit of uh, shimmer to it, so it gives your skin that natural luminosity. It doesn't take away from the natural radiance of the skin and make you look too flat and chalky. It's just, it's beautiful. I really, really like this stuff. Both of these are more sheer. I would say this one's a little bit more sheer. This one you can build up and get it to a pretty good coverage, but if you just apply a tiny bit, it barely gives you any coverage. This one, again, barely any coverage. So you can use these to set without making yourself look cakey, and you can wear these alone. They're both just really, really good um, powders to try to add to your arsenal. <laughs> Highlighters are probably my absolute favorite makeup product but I narrowed it down to just one and it was Opal by Becca. This in the pan can look kind of scary and can look kind of dark but I'm telling you when I'm at my fairest which is very fair actually when I'm like at my palest when I have no fake tan no summer tan you guys leave comments and you're like what happened to your skin did you get really did you get really bright lights because you look really pale no, that's just my skin tone at its natural. I am naturally very fair, but I tan really easily in the sunlight. My skin is just, I'm a chameleon basically. I just, I get really dark really easy. I get really fair after I haven't been in the sun in a while. So it just, it depends. But anyway, what I'm trying to tell you is at my fairest and at my darkest, this is beautiful. If you are very fair, I think you should still try this because I think you could still make it work for yourself. But it's also super flattering if you put it on the collarbone, the decollete, the shoulders, down the shin bone. It just gives you this supermodel glow. I love it. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. This is in the shade Bare Light. I like to wear this under foundation or mix it in with foundation and it just... It gives you, again, like that beautiful radiance that you want. Um, it just puts the right amount of shimmer. This is 
gorgeous even if you just wear it. Am I using the word gorgeous too much? I think so. During the summertime when you already have a natural tan going, then just take a tiny bit of this and just put it on the high points of your face It's because it's a liquid. Um, and it just, it gives you like a gorgeous sheen. It's not too much, but you know, when you move around in the light, it's gonna, you know, bring some attention to the high points of your face. It's beautiful. They also have other shades, but this one's my favorite. I had two favorite bronzers of the year and they were just like my go-tos. The first one is Benefit um, Hula. This is like the perfect contour shade for me. I can bronze up my entire face with it. It's just, it's always my go-to. It's easy to blend. It's really pigmented. I absolutely love this stuff. And then my other favorite bronzer is Casino by NARS. I love this stuff. I already have a backup waiting for when I'm done with this because I'm about done with it. This you can contour with. I know some people contour with this. I, it's not my contour of choice, but I have used it before. But this is absolutely gorgeous for an all-over bronze. It really mimics a natural suntan. You know when you go out in the sun for the day and you have like this natural, it's like a beautiful flush and the sun has just made your skin just the tiniest bit red? This mimics that amazingly and it just it really looks like a natural tan and it has a little bit of shimmer to it it's not completely matte so I wouldn't say that this is a luminizing bronzer but it's not matte so it keeps the life in your skin it's gorgeous I love this I just I don't think you can beat this I had two blush favorites and some of you guys are gonna be like what but yes I had two favorite blushes and the first one is probably not going to be a surprise to you. It is exposed by Tarte in the pan. This does not look special, and I think that's why I love it so much. It's like this warm, neutral, fleshy shade. It just gives me like this glowing, natural, pretty flush. I don't know how to describe it. It's so pretty. The next favorite is Madrid. This is by Galactic. This is a beautiful dusty mauve it's very light and again goes really well with my skin tone um i love this because it is you know technically a colored blush but it's not too pink or purple works with my skin tone very very pretty let's talk about um eyeshadows so if you guys have noticed in my tutorials and my get ready with me's then you already know um i absolutely loved the urban decay shadow and naked it's just the perfect transition shade for me. Um, I need to break out and try some new transition shades because this is just the one I used all year, but I love it. And yeah, so that was my transition shade of the year. My two favorite palettes of the year were the Lorac Pro 2 and the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I know that I only had the Chocolate Bar Palette for a little bit, but I love it. I traveled with it and just this palette alone, and I was totally satisfied. So that tells me that this is a really good palette and that I really do absolutely love it. It smells like chocolate. It tastes like chocolate. I talked about it in my December favorites. It's a beautiful palette. And then my other favorite, the Lorac Pro 2, because this thing took me by surprise. I did not think that I was going to like this as much as the original Lorac palette, but I love this. When I first got it, I did not like it because I didn't know how to work with the cool tones and I really had to experiment with them and I noticed that I have to be wearing the right blush, the right lip color, you know, the whole face has to kind of go together. So yeah, I just, I absolutely love this. I do think it's one of those things though that if you're not accustomed to cool tones, you really do have to play around with it. Um, I think you'll really be surprised by it. I was. It's in my 2014 favorites. <laughs> Should we talk about brows? Let's talk about brows because I had two major brow favorites this year and the first one is Dip Brow by Anastasia. Mine is in the shade Dark Brown. This is a brow palmy. So you guys know that I have kind of like this gap in my brow. I always joke and say that it's like a notched brow which is like I shouldn't have notched brows and maybe that's not funny but, and I can never ever find products that will stick to that and it was just like so annoying and um, this stays, it doesn't budge. I find that it's kind of hard to make this look super natural, especially in the front part of my brows where I'm a little bit more sparse. So for the front part of my brows, I absolutely love the Ico Brow Liner. This is a brow tint, and it just puts down the right amount of color so that you can um, just put like a tint on those brows and then they don't look so boxy and, you know, cartoony. These two together, they're like a really good duo. Um, let's talk about concealer because we were totally out of order and I did foundation like a really long time ago, but we'll talk about concealer now. Like my ride or die concealer is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I have 
tubes on tubes on tubes of this. I use tubes on tubes of tubes of this. Um, in the summer, I'm in the shade medium, wintertime, light, um, and then I also like to use the shade neutralizer, shade brightener. I just rip the sponges off these things, click it, put it on my finger. It doesn't crease. It's really creamy, really pigmented. They're beautiful. Um, I can just... I love these so much. There's nothing really but positive things to say about these. And then the other one is the Givenchy Mr. Light. And this is a pen concealer. Twist the bottom and the product is dispersed through the brush. I can wear this on no makeup days. Like if I don't have time to do foundation, I don't want to do foundation or whatever the situation is, um, I will just put this under the eyes corners of the eyes, under my nose, and then uh, if I have like any dark spots, I'll put it on there and tap it in with my finger. It just melts in with the skin. And then you look in the mirror and you're like, I look really good today. I had two favorite mascaras. The first one is the L'Oreal, oh, this strap is going to drive me nuts. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Waterproof. This one lengthens and it doesn't really volumize. I don't want a ton of volume on my top lashes. I just want to make them look longer and I want it to be like a clean length. I don't want it to be too clumpy. This one does just that. It lengthens but it's not clumpy. The other mascara that I really loved was the Givenchy Phenomenize. This is that torture ball mascara. It's got like those spiky thingies on it. This is exceptional for getting those super tiny short lashes that I have in the corners of my eyes, the inner corners of my eyes. And also, this is like my mascara of choice for the lower lashes because it plumps them up so that they're not so thin, but it doesn't give them too much length. So I like different mascaras for different parts of my lashes because they're so complicated. Like some of them go straight out, some of them go straight down. They're really high maintenance and they all have different needs. So I have like different mascaras for different lash regions. My favorite lashes of the year, hands down, Kiss 03s. You can get away with wearing them during the daytime and they look natural. If you don't put any mascara on them to thicken them up or plump them or lengthen them, they're beautiful, they're very soft and feminine, they look really nice during the daytime, and then you can actually stack them, wear two pairs at night, um, you can put mascara on them and plump them up, you can really, you know, manipulate these lashes to get them to look the way that you want. My favorite setting spray of the year was the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Set and Spray. This works. L'Oreal did it right. I think L'Oreal just is probably my favorite makeup brand out of the drugstore. I think that if anybody was going to do the setting spray the right way, it would be L'Oreal. They totally delivered with this stuff. It makes your makeup last really long and it keeps it from separating in certain spots on your face, keeps it from breaking down, wearing away, completely disappearing on you. It just helps keep your makeup stuck on your face. And and then my other favorite setting spray, well not really setting spray, but skin treatment, skin reviver, um, dewy finish setting spray is the MAC Fix Plus. I don't think there's quite anything like this. It smells good. It has good things in it for your skin. I like to spray this on before I do my makeup. It just hydrates your skin, revitalizes it. It puts the life back in your skin that powders may have taken away. If you feel like you put on a little bit too much powder, then just use this. Alright, so now we can talk about lips. But first, I'm going to talk about my favorite lip treatments. The first one are these Nivea lip butters that come in the tins. I have tons of these. Like, everybody's always making fun of me because I have a whole box full of all these flavors. And then they're, like, just everywhere. In my car, in my purse, on my nightstand. They really work. They're really, really good. I got turned on to these last year randomly. This specific one in Raspberry Rose Kiss is my favorite. It smells like a raspberry high chew, which is like a Japanese version of Starburst. Other lip balm favorite is nipple balm. I get this from the pregnancy aisle. You're going to go over to like the breast pumping mechanisms. Like that's where I typically always find it. Um, my favorite is Dr. Lips nipple balm. I can't find it. I must have lost it. I don't even know how to explain to you how good lanolin is for your lips and how it's going to just totally, you're going to be like, oh my God, why have I not been doing this forever? Because it's a French thing. I think French people are actually the people who put nipple balm on their lips all the time. It makes your lips the softest they have ever been. Get it. If you have really chapped lips or really dry skin in general, get nipple balm. Get it. Just get it, get it, get it, get it. You won't be disappointed. 
liners. The first one is Mauve by NYX. It's a really pretty color to just line your lips with. And then it's a really pretty color to wear alone or under glosses. It's just like a Your Lips But Better shade. And then my other favorite, again, another Your Lips But Better shade, is Strip Down by MAC. Um, this one I particularly like to just line my lips with and then kind of take my finger and like uh, blend it out and then just put a gloss on top and it makes your lips look bigger, fuller, more defined. So that's what I really like to use this one specifically for. My favorite red lipstick of the year, no surprise, it was Besso by Stila. This is a liquid lipstick. Ugh, this stupid strap. This is a liquid lipstick and you put it on like a gloss. It has like full opacity and then it sets into a completely matte lipstick that does not budge. You need again like something well, you need like something oily to take this off with. And then my two favorite shades of lipstick. The first one was Shiraz by Bite Beauty. This is a really deep mauve shade. Goes with whatever eye look that you want to wear. It's always pretty and same thing with this other one goes with whatever eye look I want to wear and it's again another mauve um, but I love mauves I can't help myself this one is Urban Decay Rush and these are my two favorite lip colors and I love mixing them together please come follow me on Twitter and Instagram I'll have those linked down below as well as product links everything information and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching Bye, guys.